And why it has to be this cotton candy, I don't know, because you know you can get other candy that's tiny. But the Kool-Aid Fruit Punch Cup. enjoyed last night's and I'm recording this on the same day so I don't know what the comments are gonna be be like yet but I believe it's a fun video and that's what we need to have we need to have some fun in life everything doesn't have to be serious does it uh, one of my viewers was asking me she called it the mushroom steak lot but I'm thinking she was talking about this one with the butterfly in it Wanting to know how you turn it on, I guess, or open it. You twist off the top. And the other one's already in the yard, but I saved this one so I could explain. There's a little tab right here. Pull it out. See how it lit up? Put it back on. And uh, that's all you do. And then put it out in your yard. It does have a stake. Pull it out and you turn it around. I've got a certain place right now. I've got my uh, lights on. Add in the yard so that they can get some sun. Okay. I, I told you I was cracking up. And I thought, if I don't hurry up and do this haul, we're not going to have nothing left to show on the eating part. And that's for sure. Uh, while I was gone with Omi... I had left these little hug fruit barrels. This one was blue raspberry. And they only had one gram of sugar per bottle. Can't show you the drink, because guess what? Two little boys got into them and drank them all. But there's six in here at a... Uh, eight fluid ounces. So there's 48 ounces in this. And I bought this all the time when Eli was little. Between this and the Capri Sun Roaring Waters. But they had those at the Dollar Tree. They're Eli approved. Got to throw that in the trash. Another thing they got into. And I should say, really, these didn't. They didn't get into it before I got home. They actually got into these after I got home. I was amazed. Uh, Eli's most favorite chip, Lay's Stacked Sour Cream and Onion. In his little haul he did the other day, he said he's going to change it up a notch, and he did the cheddar cheese, but yeah, it's gone. But, yeah, they're not the only ones that do that, you know. And Dollar Tree, please, please. Quit showing these. Quit having these. These are a weakness of mine for some reason uh, this Easter season. Never has been before, but I like the tanginess. But I will tell you, not every two packages, that's why I got two out here. Never, no, no two packages may taste quite the same. I will tell you, one of mine wasn't quite as tangy as the other package. I enjoyed the very tangy. And why it has to be this cotton candy, I don't know. Because, you know, you can get other candy that's tangy. But the Kool-Aid Fruit Punch Cotton Candy is two thumbs up in my book. I opened these. I was going to save you one or two to show you, but I guess you'll just have to look at the box. Be an original. Whoppers. Bunny Tails. Covered in vanilla flavored cream. I don't know if I've ever had the vanilla flavored cream till this weekend, this past weekend. And there's none left in it. I love Whoppers. I, I'm a big Whopper fan. I know if you buy a box about this size at a movie theater, you're going to pay a, the better price at $3. Maybe more now. We've not been in the movies in so long. 
so you could get some of these and take them to the movies with you and have got a cat in here a treat for a dollar and a quarter and there was four ounces and yes i ate all four servings i can't mention on when i was watching movies and uh, relaxing in the chair so these are a winner in my book I think I just have one more thing that's, well, two more that's been open. I'll just show you these because I've showed them to you in another haul. The Coconut Cashew Crunch Original Recipe with the peanuts and the coconut. I will say that they're really, really, really crunchy. And I don't know if it's just this particular bag or what. But you more or less need to let it kind of dissolve in your mouth to soften up. But the flavor itself is really good. So, there's that one. Now, on to a new product. Came out of the hall with the fabulous finds from last night. Goldenberg <coughs> Peanut Cheese Original Dark three ounces, and they've been around since, I seen the date on it, it was like 1917, 1907, I know I seen a date on them somewhere, I thought maybe it was something else, I don't see it now, it's best by July of 22, I could have I just know I seen a date, I thought. I'll have to look that up now, because something I bought, say, <laughs> I forgot y'all were there for a minute, or I didn't forget, I just get, I'm talking to you, but looking down here, but I thought it said, I told my husband, I said, I think they say 1917, because he said, Angie, can I, where are mine? And normally he tries to, not do peanuts too much, but he was willing to try these. Good thing I left one. But they're in little bars like this. And it's little chopped up peanuts. It kind of puts me in the mind of eating, you know, the turtle candy. Only it's big chunks and a lot more caramel. These are kind of caramel covered um, little bitty chunks of peanuts and chocolate. But they are good. They're a winner in our my book. And I'm sure they're going to be a winner in Kenny's book. But, yeah. I had never seen them before and had to get them. This is a good thing. If, unless it's really deep summer, you can keep in the car and have one of these and have a sip of something to drink and, and you're satisfied. But they're addictive, I'll tell you that. For me, they are. Okay. On with some other stuff. Maybe. I don't have a whole lot of food right here, so let's just go ahead and finish the food out. Tootsie Roll eggs. Candy-coated egg-shaped Tootsie Rolls. And they're individually wrapped, so they're going in Easter baskets. I don't think I've ever bought these before. They probably had them in the store. I've just not gotten them. But I thought, hmm, Tootsie Roll in an egg, you can't go wrong. So I got one of those. And I may have already had one bag of these. I don't remember. Yeah, and I got another bag I need to show you. I ate all of it too. Yeah, I think it was called Peeps Jelly Beans. That not my favorite of all jelly beans this season. Peeps isn't. It's the tangy, sour ones. Still looking for the Fruit Loop. Now and later, jelly beans. Okay, Dollar Tree. You're going to have to get rid of all this candy. I'm going to have to ignore... I have to ignore the candy aisle. They had several good things in the candy aisle this season. I used this... Long grain, white rice. I believe I actually used it when I did the jambalaya. Did I? 90 seconds in the microwave. So I thought I'd go ahead and pick up one more pack. 
Maybe have some sausage, pepper, and onions over rice, beans. Yeah. So I got one of those. 90 seconds. I'm not the cook I could be or the cook I would have been when my kids were real little. Uh, quick and easy is what I do best right now, especially with the way my, uh, yeah, train of thought goes. And y'all have seen it in some videos, and you'll probably see it in a couple I'm holding until I look at them one more time. <laughs> yeah, my memory's not that great. This is going in Omi's little Easter basket. I got her a little bunny rabbit sucker. It's a crispy chocolate. That's going in Omi's. Uh, yeah, she won't see this first, along with some prunes. <laughs> and what else? Uh, the uh, saline citrate, citrate, whatever it is, magnesium stuff for the bowels. That's going to be your Easter basket. That, putting that in there. So I got that. And I did buy several drink mixes. Because between here, yeah, my table's still wobbling. Never have gotten the other one yet. But between here and uh, camping, We'll need those this year. Skittles. Who doesn't love Skittles? Tropical Punch. And if it gets Eli to drink more water, I'm happy. Jelly Belly. Been all about the jelly beans, not, not the jelly belly. Powdered drink mix. Very cherry. I love cherry. Six drink packs. Welch's Passion Fruit, no aspartame, zero sugar, six in it. Berry Blue, on the go, Jelly Belly, sugar free. And... I guess I didn't know I got the first tropical punch because I actually got another tropical punch on the Skittles. I was just trying to get one of each flavors. But I got those. I, this light's lit. I got to get it out there. There's not really any sun today. It's more overcast. Got one more food item that I, well, two more that I see. I got one that's ultra thin. Pizza crust, good till 8, 2, or 22. So, we can make a pizza with it. And I meant to get two, and I only got one, so. Got that. Especially since I'd be planning on going to Omi's son. Especially when she doesn't have any help, you know, during the day or at night. Right now, she's more than covered, so she's telling me to kind of hang out here and take care of business, like I get a lot done, <laughs> and uh, just kind of see her until such time when she doesn't have all the help that she's got now. Did I tell you I just have one more food? Wasabi Ranch, zippy and creamy, baked green pea snack. I like these. I don't know about the wasabi. Don't remember if I've had it, but I've had the ranch. I've had just the salted. And this is wasabi ranch. Does it say new? It doesn't. It's powered by plant protein. Has, uh, has potassium, iron, calcium. So, I, I feel like in August 25th of 22, Good snack for the car. I know they're smaller bags, two ounces, but like I've said before, if you're apt to stop at a convenience store and get you a snack, you're talking two or more dollars normally anymore. I remember when little bag, bags like this were like 59 cents, not anymore. So for a dollar and a quarter, I wanted to try those. I don't think I'll get Eli too, but he might. I'm going to do one more item. It has to pertain to food, but doesn't have food in it. And, well, it's a drink. 
Sunny D. This one's empty. The other one's over there, and I have one that's in the pantry. I bought three because they were 40 more ounces. The boys finished this one off while Eli was having a sleepover. That tells you how well Eli likes Sunny. I mean, yeah, Sunny D, and so did Evan. And so does Kenny. He likes it, and I like it on occasion. Uh, this is my beverage of choice, and yeah, I've not drank it all yet and still got some in the coffee pot. I'm doing good this morning. I went ahead and fed my animals too before I came back because I went out to uh, take care of the cats and stuff around the house and it looked like it was going to rain. So I hurried up and put a jacket on because it's not real chilly and ran up there real fast. I think I collected about a dozen eggs. I was going to count them before I got on here and forgot. But anyway, Sunny D. 40% more, so there was 1.75 quart, 56 ounces, a winner here at my house. I hope you enjoyed this haul, mainly about stuff that I wish the Dollar Tree would quit carrying. I wish they quit carrying this stuff. Do you hear me? It's too tempting right now, and I even try to go in there when... I'm not hungry, but if I see the Kool-Aid cotton candy, I get it. And the different flavored jelly beans. Like I said, I think Fruit Loops is the only one I'm missing so far. Uh, I've got at least one more Dollar Tree haul sitting here. Some of it's the Dollar Tree Plus, and I'll tell you why I get it there. I see at least one item that's going to own these, if not more. So... Until the next time, we'll talk soon.